This is the bracket. We are searching the fourth player for the playoffs. Infi Focus Jamiko in Sock vs. Life it is. Chat says Life is the favorite with 62%. Does the numbers um, underline this? Yes, they do. It is a disastrous statistic for Sock. 14% in direct competition against Life. That is abysmal. Well, last game you said it was an 85% chance <clears throat> for an instant expansion, Neo. So, <laughs> who knows? All right. Well, I didn't have numbers to back this up for me, but now I have. And, yeah, well, let's see then. King Cancer versus The Claw. Who? All right. Uh, Want to bet who wins here? I'm going to bet life. Really? I'm going gonna, my... gonna to give you 5 to 1 odds. 5 to 1? Yeah. Life is playing really good today, man. But yeah, whatever. Five to one odds, I take it. All right. If you win this, you have finally uh, gotten even with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't even think so, but we never pay it out anyway, so it really doesn't matter. It's a warden again, by the way. It is. Um, of course, and? Terranor Stand. Outstanding warden map, in my opinion. The best slash the second best after Twisted Metals, I can't quite decide. Echo Isles used to be um, the hometown of the Warden, but the humans became very good at dealing with her there. With this Ancient of War quick creep here at the natural, humans looked very scary for a long time until Moon found an answer with a forward Moonwell. Is Sock going to be aggressive here towards this Ancient of War as well? Already this shows me that life doesn't seem to be too... How do I put this? Um, too respectful of Sock. I think if this was Infi or TH, he would not creep the natural. He would instead Never go ever. for uh, the laboratory, as we actually saw before. But here again, Sock, he says, yeah, whatever. It's just a Korean. I can do this. Yeah, I kind of feel the same. Like, of course, he would have respect for... Uh, Focus or Lolliet or Lin or whatever or Moon, but Sock, tier two player even in Korea, and his shape yesterday wasn't too good. But I mean, the last game Amazonia and the series against Colorful was quite outstanding, like how he defended the harass on Amazonia. Um, that was the Sock I want to see. This is the Sock that we hope to see here, and I mean. If you want to prepare for this match, of course, you don't really know who your opponent is, but you can't assume it's going to be live. And yeah, maybe he, he analyzed it. He's in the team house with A1, with Lolliet and Shimiko, so maybe they practiced a little together. And it looks like Sock doesn't have the best ping again. That was the case yesterday as well, where he got smashed on Terranor stand by Colorful, but then he still won somehow. Wasn't that the case? Yes. Yes. Sir. What kind of beer are you drinking? Looks like a Bex. It's a local beer, oh. Funkstetter, oh. which is actually one of my new favorite beers. This one and Budweiser are my current favorites. Hui. Didn't you say you don't have any beers? And then you chose to drink liquor yesterday. So how did you get this beer now? Yeah, I mean, don't have any beers in the sense of, like, only two or something. <laughs> okay, okay. So, game starts again. And it's three wisps here with that warden. Ooh, that lightning shield hurts a little. But now the archer is in the right place. Shadow strike first. And Sock starts with this uh, normal laboratory creep. This footman won't do too much. If he gets the last hit here, that would be so sick, but Warden takes care. And it's first blood. Don't deny anything. Doesn't do it. Well done. Ah, this 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 feels good, man, even if you're not an idol. And if you're an idol, this must be so satisfying. The item was crap, but the tome of agility, Neo, it's back. Forces are under attack. Yeah. For the Warden, I don't know. The attack speed is so slow. I mean, it gives you a little more attack speed, but it doesn't really influence it too much. On the other side... More damage, bro. Yeah, 
Zero point six more armor. What do you say about that? That is correct, but <laughs> I don't think that's like noticeable. The class of attack for soccer noticeable though. As you all know, 25% damage boost at least. By the way, for New Year's, did you quit smoking? No. Because I haven't heard you smoking today. Well then. Or maybe, yesterday. Maybe you got a firecracker next to your ear and they are not working anymore, but. Dude, my ears are seriously bad though. That is uh, not even a joke. <laughs> okay. I like how he's creeping this here with the Ancient of Wonders. Super fast creeping, doesn't even have to go for the Ancient of War play. And. Is it just me or does this human expo look late? Going for the Merc Camp first. Shadow Priest, super helpful for the human against the Warden Harass for more healing. And he sends the peasants back? What? This is a super late Sports expansion. Sock played it yesterday with a super late expansion with Mercenary before expo. I can only imagine he's going for the natural now. Can't see anything. I will turn the Mac. Oh, now. the creeps for life! Uh oh! I mean the mercenaries, excuse me. They attack the creeps and now ooh, he just has to dispel the slow, saves the berserker that way. But now he doesn't have double dispel, not quite for the shadow priest. That hurt. Here comes a wisp for the detonate. Booyah! There is another ward elemental though and Sock will creep this with ease. Scourge bone chimes and a tome of experience! <laughs> ay ay ay, level three and a half already. And here comes the Warden though, with only Shadow Strike, I don't think he has fan of knives. Snipes the Shadow Priest though, will be enough to kill it. I think he could deny it if he wants to. Ah no, he's healing himself up! Is that enough? Yeah. It what? is! Mm. One more- Whoa, <laughs> one, HP. one HP! No way! Literally. <laughs> Get the Berserker though. Has to There's quite a few more place. mana points to use here. One more Shadow Strike is going to be at the ready. And that should be an easy kill for him. What's he want to go for? Peasant or Shadow Priest? Shadow Priest seems to be the better target, but he goes for the Peasants. He wants to delay the expansion a little bit with that, I guess. Heal him! Heal him! Uh, this not time it's enough. not enough. A little too late. Warden gets Staff and Boots now. Of course, no disable on the Warden to get rid of it. Expansion for life is almost up. This kind of expansion was quite fast and he keeps on creeping with the engine of war and the rest of the army. I really like that. It's gonna be close to level 4 after this or even level 4. No tech by Sock. He's really late with everything. But he has this crept up mercenary camp, which is nice. What was the item, by the way? Do you see it? Ah, the bigger healing. Not bad. Against the warden, of course. You need healing. Yep. Maybe that, that was the reason why the warden didn't go for the archmage despite being level 3 or. Just because of the Shadow Priest, as mentioned before, super good for the AM. Who's almost level 4 now, but the Warden, as it is always the case on Terranus, off to a great start. She herself is gonna be level 4 here after only a couple of minutes. And once she's level 5, man, that's when the human needs to get really yeah. afraid. Archmage level 4 though. Level 2 Brilliance Aura and no Demon Hunter to burn it, so it's gonna be a lot of Bottle Elementals. And how far is life? Oh, life's... Do you have the map black, by the way? Yep. I, ha I hate brown on green. I can't see any movement there. Are you brown green blind? I'm brown green blind, exactly. <laughs> Finally That's why I can't see horses. What? You know? Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, is every horse brown, or what are you saying? <laughs> yeah. He's losing everything here, man. Shadow Priest dead, all the footies are gone. The AM will have to TP slash use his healing potion. The trade was one Shadow Priest, but that is so good for life. He lost an archer as well, but who cares? He doesn't have any mana anymore, however, and he's hiding in Shadow Meld. He's but revealing, though. Ah, oh, okay, no no mana for a Shadow Strike. But if the tech is finished, you can get a Naga. This Archmage is dead, but no. The tech is not finished yet. That was super close, though. Like, if this happens five seconds later, Archmage dies. A player's forces are under attack. Both expos up, no shop for Sock yet. Put the tier 2 tech and a lumber mill finally. But yeah, he lost so, so, so much. Yeah. This is looking uh, differently from the game we saw before by Infi. He's getting more creeping done, at least. Tier 2 is halfway through. Life here, setting up his lures now. Is he gonna go for a wind as well? Oh, he is! 
So he is uh, paying respect to the possible Zeppelin harass. He's very... Does he only have two moon wealth? Where's the third one? Uh, ah, between the two bases. Oh, okay. ah. Plus, of course, the Tree of Life who gives 10 supply. Panda greets the Archmage with a Breath of Fire. There's a fan of Knives now as well, getting close to level 5. And yeah, there is a Zeppelin, so the reaction with the early Engine of Wind was a good one. And to be honest, I, like I think... I like how life is playing it safe and doesn't want to win with a flashy warden level eight or whatever solo, you know. But going for the panda as well, he knows Terranus has become has become one of those very predictable tank maps, especially with a player like Sock. And he already has the answer in store. Only needs this guy to get to level three and get boots slash staff or both, and then needs to defend and keep the expo from coming up, which Sock is attempting right here in the north. Indeed, three towers are coming up. The Wisp scouts this. And maybe, oh, such a good scout. Maybe the panda can tear it down already. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah especially with the staff on the wall. And this, uh, these towers are gone. More experience. Getting closer to level five. Why is he No blink though, this? remember? Um, won't be able to hop into the bases too easily. Unless, of course, Tom will be training. And here we go again. Perhaps more of an even fight here with the Zeppelin as well. And the Berserkers are in trouble. Or the Berserker is in trouble. But we have the Zepp, uh, the Hippogriff to counter towards the Zeppelin and the AM. OHP again has to TP out. Is he even going to save this? No. Nope. Ha oh, ha ha. Breath of Fire. Fan of Knives combo gets two kills there. And that is like one third of the entire human army. At this point he does go for a Naga as he needs Player damage now. His army attack. consists of two heroes. A summon. And a footman. Yeah. And he's going double workshop. He knows he's not going to win this game with a standard play or whatever you want to call it. It's double it's workshop sanctum, though. Breakers as well. Huh. That's weird, huh? That is weird. Is he going more to teams? A player's forces are under attack. I don't know. Can you build, like, why would you do double workshop? You know what would be cool? Invis Mortar bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That is true. Well, it sucks, so it's not impossible that he goes for it. No, no, it's absolutely in the cards. Yeah. So the workshop is done. You need tier 3 for tanks. Warden hops into the main. Invul popped. She has retrained towards skill, so, so she is, yeah, greeting these peasants with a... Nasty smile on her face. Gets another two, gets another... I don't know, how many corpses is this? Six? This is painful. Yep. He doesn't have mana anymore, but can step out now without any danger. There's double mana burn here from feedback from Arcane Tower and Breaker. And this will happen again. I mean, kind of like... Okay, you are known for your dirty tactics, Sock. I will play my stuff. But this is a good time. Sock with a Zeppelin drop into the expansion has to cancel it immediately. So both players preventing the other from expanding the second time. A player's forces are All right, tier three is done. Is it time to see the tanks rolling? It sure is. Yep. We have two coming out, but the panda is already level three. Only thing here he needs, I feel, is Ancients of War. A staff on the panda, and maybe a couple of utility units with the mud golem and the uh, talents thrown in. Yeah, we and the warden is gonna continue her shenanigans. Oh. There we go. This time, this is the expansion. And this is where well, every human heart bleeds. Well, to be honest, he deserves this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, miss blink. By the way, against which under did he play on Turtle Rock? That legendary game. Did you see how the master. warden uh, blinked into this little niche and was stuck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he had to TP out. <laughs> but I mean, uh, he has the money. Like... Was it Lucifer? It must have been Jera Cup, right? I don't... I don't really know. But you know what I do know? The next two weeks, I played against humans who played that bullshit all the time. So thank you very much, Sock, for inspiring the masses. That was so much fun. Yep, Beastmaster tank play. I like. 
Triple Engine of War at the expansion here. This time, um, life is a lot earlier with his reactions to this tank play. Still no talents though, still no mud golem though, but I think it's gonna be enough. Tank drop! He must have watched Infi's game. Like, tank drops are so rare. Yeah. I think he got inspired. Archers are dying, but who cares? It's three, four bears now, three dryads. There's not much surface against this tank at the expansion, so he has to pull all three of them. Maybe he has to respond. Oh, he's sending them back, or into the main. Next tree of life coming up. Yeah, I don't like how few uh, Ancients of Wars he has. At the Expo it's okay, three Ancients of War could be more, but it's fine. But in the main, there's none, not a single one. Yeah. And now these tanks can go to town on these moon wells. Should be easily uh, able to kill two of these of these wells at least. The Shredder is here to defend. Tanks are only 1-1 one, one at the moment, but it's probably gonna get more and more. With the upgrades. Very, very likely indeed. Gets one of them. Oh, I think he won't get the second one. But there was echo damage done by the warden again in the main base. But Sok now has a zeppelin there in the main to save a few peasants. And finally the second expansion is up for life. And Sok is preparing for his second expansion as well. Alright, Knight, life needs to keep this expo down. If he does so, this game is looking good for him. And if we look at the two forces... Seems like the bear should have the upper hand, especially if the warren blinks in the back line going towards the motor teams. They're still alive, but not in the best position. Panda coming in. Oh, nice dodge with the Zeppelin there. That was really cool, but still, the Phantom Nice finds the motor team. One of them is down. The Dryads are falling, but the bears, there doesn't seem to be an answer against the bears. Breath of Fire into nowhere, but gets the mortar team for some, uh, somehow. 66 versus 52 supply now. Takes care of the towers who are about to be finished, but not anymore. Reach of bears coming in. And this army is Level six. very, very small. Level 6, yep, there's a lot of corpses on the ground, but he uses the mana for next pan of knives. All heroes super low. Oh, he went for level 3 blink. Yep. What a show off. <laughs> well, I think it's more fun. Next Breath of Fire, one staff, but the knight falls. And this is definitely not going to be an expansion for Sog. This one tree, uh, one tank might be enough though. There's no response to this. Now he sends the shredder. Once again, pretty low on Ancients of War. He has four of them, but on three bases, that is very thin. So there is still an opening for Sock. Don't get me wrong, it's looking bad for him. But maybe if you if you can replicate what Infi did earlier, like spread the night out thin, find openings here and there, and don't lose anything. Get a staff, get two staffs, and save everything you can. <laughs> Things are still looking bad for Sock so far. The expansion did not drop, he's mining there now, and life is pushing forward with his level 6 hero saves the Zeppelin now. <clears throat> With a staff, not even level 5 Archmage, level 2 on the Naga. Three tanks are coming now to the upper right. And another Berserker. That should be it then. He has still 1-1 one, one upgrade only, which I think is a little low, but okay. Oh, the Panda's already there. With the Shredder. This is nice. So, I'm questioning my former statement. Can he actually hold this in the... There's another fight here though. But Sock just a player can only run away. But life is holding the bridge down here. He's expanding, uh, defending up top. I mean, by the way, yesterday I also said uh, hold the bridge, and Chad was going, going crazy about hold the bridge. Is that a meme that I'm not aware of? Usually, I'm the meme master. Guys, please tell me what's hold the bridge all about. Anyways, as it was the case a couple of minutes ago, there is still no answer to these bears. Infi was playing Griffins before. Sock is not. He is, only has mortar teams and a breaker and a knight. <laughs> This army looks so sad, man. Yeah. <laughs> and he even defends the three tanks at the upper right. Fortifying it with engines of war now. The natural is untouched since the one tank drop. That is like four minutes ago. So he's mining and mining and mining. I wonder if we see chimeras. But it's so nice how he blinks fan of knives into the mortar teams. Kills off at least one. 
And now the Paladin can't heal himself. Only fuck him into the Zeppelin. This game is so old. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything is so low. Next fan of knives may get a triple kill. Thank goodness for the Zeppelin. Keeps it alive, but yeah, yeah. it is over. GG. Wow, fairly easy, I think, for life here. There was no real threat throughout the entire game. Expansion was slow, attack was slow. Um, there was never like a big army or a big amount of tanks. The drops were fine. But that's about it, right? Yeah. So I still give you, uh, I still have the option open, Neo, for the bet. What do you say? Well, I said yes before, so I can't go out of it now. Do you want to double down? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on. We have Amazonia now. That was by far Sock's best map. Uh, yesterday in the game against Colorful. Mm. So let's hope for the best, I guess. Terranas is a fairly good Night Elf map, so we have to give him that. I actually think on AZ, um, Sock's best chance is if life once again stubbornly goes for the all-in. And Sock defends well enough. Yeah. I wonder if, if life feels like he has something to prove here or if he's going to be, you know, reasonable enough to say, whatever, I just play the standard game. But if he decides to go all in, then Sock has a chance here. Invite, please. Oh, sorry. Uh, forgot about you. No problem. I mean, we've just been talking for the last two hours, so <laughs> it can happen. Understandable. Do you know that when you're at parties and you've had something to drink and you meet new people and you, for the life of you, cannot remember any names? Yeah, that's not like... I have this all the time. Oh, not only at parties, that, not that, when I'm drunk. I have this so throughout horrible. my entire and then, life. And, and then somehow they catch you and they say, you know uh, what my name is, right? And you're like, <laughs> I mean, of course. Of, I mean, of course, man. Of course. We, we've, been, we've been talking about the last <laughs> couple of hours. Of course they do. <laughs> Yeah, everybody should get nameplates on big parties or, or, or in life in general. So people can't forget that. Hello, my would name write, is... Blah, blah, blah. Would you write Yannis slash Neo? I would just say Neo. I, yeah. I, I don't use my first name at all. Yannis Hermann Oscar. That, that is still <laughs> such a good name. Well, when I'm with uh, people who speak English, I pretend to be called James as it's easier. Really? Yeah. Don't you feel like you're betraying your identity? <laughs> no. It's so close. So I'm just making life easier for other people. I feel that's a good thing. Do you do it because Janice is a female name in English? Is that so? Ah, Janice. Oh, I never thought about it. You're right. Wow, 28 years later, I <laughs> realized that. <laughs> As I said, I'm smart <laughs> and stuff. Um, no, I just... Started to do it and I, it worked fine. So yeah. Also, my last name I don't say Tiax, but Sharks, as it's easy. Sharks, to... that yeah. is really good. Yeah, you know. Oh, wow. Uh, wow, that I I actually want to adopt your name. <laughs> I'm Remo Sharks, dude. <laughs> and I was so with um, my 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 friend in Thailand. He's called Deers. So I said we're sharks and deers. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty cool. <laughs> That is really good. I like that. Neo Sharks. <laughs> that is really nice. Sounds like an, an 80s action hero. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like a super trash movie. Neo Sharks. <laughs> Coming to the cinema nearby. Speaking of cinema, how is it that for the last two months there's only been shit movies? Hmm. Oh, fuck. I have the, to look this up. Wait a minute. There is the new uh, Fatih Akin movie who's supposed to be really good. Didn't see it yet, though. What movie? Yeah, the new movie of Fatih Akin is called Fatih Out of who? Nowhere. I think in, in English. Which movies did he do? Fatih ah, Akin did German director. Okay. Gegen die Wand and uh, now Aus dem Nichts. It's I saw Soul Kitchen. Good. That was pretty nice. Yeah, I think if you watch German Don't movies, you... then oh, go for I hate Fatih Jan Akin. Kruger, though. Oh, I hate that guy. <laughs> yeah. Nope, not gonna watch that. 
so on Sundays, there's always uh, in our cinema a movie being played in English or in original version. Mm -hmm. So first, I have to figure out what that is. Did you see Star so Wars? So Neo, yeah, uh, you're gonna you're gonna solo cast here for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Game starts, and again, Sock is picking brown, man. Sorry, the map will remain in black. Ah, yeah, like... It's the greatest showman today. Ah. Hmm. Mm. I don't know. Mm. I I don't really like musicals, so I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that. Life is one map away from the playoffs, and here you see your two players again before we go into this match. So make sure that everything is correct. And it is, except that soccer takes brown colors. I think I will talk to Blizzard to just remove these colors from the game. There's no, like, why? There's no reason to use them. How triggered would you get if it was dark green versus brown? Oh, very. very you you probably boycott the cast, right? You're not, yeah. Uh, fuck it. Fuck I'm this out. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Moonstruck, with a nine-month resub, saying, "Wait all last month to say this." It's a baby. Oh, wow. Seriously. Thank you so much for nine months of amazing casting. Oh, it's not okay. S. P.S. Live playing amazing. It is great to see. All right. For a moment, I thought you actually were having a baby. <laughs> but no. We are having a baby, I guess. Dude, this is Angel. We're gonna die. This looks like it, man. But no. He pulls the aggro. Wish to the rescue. All right, it's safe now. Brave little peasant. Oh. The aggro again, though. But life getting the aggro with on his, the wisp now. His dying breath. Oh! But he did his job, man. He traded for yeah. a peasant. The Ancient of War is super low. This is not a good start at all. For life. What is he doing? I Look at this, the rogue. That he didn't aggro for the longest time. There we there go. There we go. Wow. Below 100 HP. And of course, Demon Hunter first. All right, decent start here for Sock. This is gonna seriously delay Life's creeping. I wonder if Life has the numbers down, like, like how many HP he needs to start this creep. He's gonna play it safe though, has a Wisp here to repair and that should make this easy. Lightning Shield is even coming out. Did the Peasant not get purged? Apparently not. He's now harassing with the footman as well. No deny, ring of protection, which is nice if you go for immolation harass. And the Tome of Agility, Remo. Tome of Agility, Neo. Oh my goodness. Again. Standard creeper out here for Sock, not going for the instant expo, despite it being an 85% chance. What do you have to say about that, Neo? About what? Sorry, I was fixing the overlay. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Listen. I was uh, poking fun at you. Ah, the, eight, the eighty-five percent chance. Yeah, well, it's not the, no. it's not for sock. Oh, a weak joke. That's the only ones I have, Neo. You know, you know me. Well, yesterday your jokes were on point, man. You were on fire there. <laughs> That's good. Yesterday was so weird, dude. Yesterday was seriously strange. All right, we have. Demon Hunter coming in for potential harass. His items are pretty damn shit, though, to be honest. You say the ring is okay, I say everything else is better. And the cloak is probably gonna be shit as well. Yeah. So, he's waiting for the peasants to come in. There's a wisp in position to detonate. He doesn't have any shadow priests, though, so... Water elementals should still be effective. And the tech is coming in for the night elf as well. We've seen when the expansion is so late, the Demon Hunter and the Archer is just killing the Expo right away. Maybe that's gonna happen again. Did that against Infi earlier. Still lost the game though. First Peasant dead, first Water Elemental dead. He's ignoring the Peasants, going for the footies instead. Interesting choice. Yeah, right clicks are working good. Second Peasant about to fall, next Water Elemental about to fall. Oh my god. Good experience. Oh boy. Oh my god, oh, what a disaster! Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's this there's no immolation even here, dude. Yeah. And it's like five peasants dead. Oh, may have to be a TP Players and there we go. <clears throat> that was one of the worst 
expansion so, creeps on AZ that I've ever seen. So how about those five bucks, Neo? I am still <laughs> sticking to my decision. Like yeah. sometimes it was high risk, high reward. Sometimes you just have to go for it, even that, even though you know that you're gonna lose. Like there, are, especially in Warcraft, yeah, especially can if happen. you don't honor the payouts. <laughs> <laughs> True that. The hunter's hall is extremely late. Is this gonna be a talent the push? Forces are under attack. Like He's getting it. mercs now. At, uh, finally. He yeah, could, I mean, by the way, just kill this expo right now. He could kill it. Bam! Booyah! Kill that thing off. But he's creeping instead. Four archers and mercs. That's a lot of piercing damage. And he played it before. I can't remember against who that was. This talent push. It's, it's coming though. It's a little late. It's a foggy hunter saw. <laughs> but it's a minute late. At least uh, 90 seconds late. Hey, you know. Slight. Yeah, take some time. I mean, after this good harass, you want to make it a little closer to enjoy the people more. So giving Sock a little up. If he gets a Naga right now, this is so scary, dude. But he gets a Panda. Still good against the footies, of course. Yeah, this is four Archers and two Mercs against Players four footies. Five footies, attack. excuse me. Five And AM minute, without mana. Five minute 50 expansion. Ooh. No tower up. And here we go again. Demon Hunter, Breath of Fire. At this point, the cloak, well, is okay, I guess, but oh, everything is hurt. There's no shop, and there's plenty of breath. Shadow Priest dies, but he spent his mana. Oh, nice around there on the Berserker. The Archmate is in trouble. Reveal him. Reveal him. Oh, too slow for the reveal. That was a big mistake, dude. Yeah. Easily go for it. 11 HP. It's still no shop and everything is bruised. And there's one yeah, more. The demon is fire. still on decent hit points. And the panda is regening up. He's gonna have another breath, maybe even two. There's the reveal. Invol will have to be triggered. To... Ooh, did he dodge the damage? I think so. I think he did. That was pretty sexy. Perfect timing. But still. Oh, the breath cancels almost all of the region scroll. <laughs> Feels he bad, just... man. Yeah, he's pulling everything now. Militia, Shredder, all the hurt footmen to just do something. But it seems like double hero archers are just enough. And imagine now having talents with it or Naga. Oh, cancels Next the breath. breath. Again. Denied. <laughs> no mercy. Like, absolutely no mercy. He's just having so much fun. Like, look at me, I'm a demon hunter. Na -na 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 -na. <laughs> but he's not counter expanding, so if Sock holds here and is able to tech in the next two years or so, then maybe this is doable. Life is treating. It's daytime now. He's healing up, but this is some of the last moon juice he's gonna have for a long time. Yeah. <clears throat> but he has boots on his demon hunter, Remo. What can go wrong? <laughs> Seriously. No circlet, though. Creeping his panda up now. Harassing a little with the demon hunter. Well, I thought the stream would crap out, but it was just a little hiccup. Panda's gonna be two and a half after this camp. If it gets to three, then it's uh, serious business time. Oh, and I think mana. This, if he goes for a counter expo, it's of course gonna be super late. But with all the damage he did, I think it's still fine. And ooh, the mana potion. Yep, that's gonna hurt. He will get level three on the way down south to the next expansion. The rest, there's still only one tower. Demon Hunter is scouting this the entire time, not getting burned or getting hit or whatever. And in the meantime, he's checking to tier 3. It's fairly close to tier 3 actually. Dryads are coming, and this looks still fairly good. Sock is teching now, but only 40%. He's getting towers in the base as well, so that's not that easy to break. But yeah, this is level 3 for him. And then have Zeppelin mm -hmm. drop again. This might be the only thing that can yeah, help. Yeah, I like him. that. I like that choice. Does he have a scroll of healing here to reinforce this even better? Nope, nope he does not. 
But there's no hippogriff here to deal with this, so this is very annoying. Yeah, I like how he's gonna have an orb of venom though, which is good. I like how he saved the archmage before the mana burn comes in to get a second walk elemental out soon. Oh. Okay, scratch that. <laughs> <laughs> the neo cards are on point. It's, these so, last couple it's of unbelievable. Years. <laughs> Somehow I'm cursed these days. <laughs> He's but yeah, he's the demon. I wonder if that's such a good idea. And he thinks, oh, you know what, never mind. See, the Ring of Protection is really helpful. Yeah, such a good item. Probably Infi's next name and the next GCS is gonna be I Need Rings. <laughs> Maybe WFZ can give him some. He's playing yeah. tomorrow, isn't he? What, the day after? Uh, nah, I mean, no, never mind. Next week, right? Yeah, next week. So, this is. The devious push that life is planning for quite a long time. 46 supply. There are two towers though, and a workshop in the back. I like that. So you can get more teams here and position them here behind the tower and the blacksmith to just hope to deal with it. By the way, before I forget, is it true that you that your roommate moved out? No. No. Didn't you tell Ardith that? No. He told me that you told him that. That's weird. Anyways, the bears are breaching the expansion. Panda sitting in the back with a level 2 breath ready. AM is trying to split push. And with a zap, we actually killed two moon wells, which is nice. Now he's TPing back. Where's the TP gonna go? Way in the back. And this is not a scary force at all. Drunken Haze, breath of fire. Tries to dodge with a zeppelin. Gets one footman to safety at least. But crash and burn. Yeah. And everything's dead. Level 4 demon. And this is GG. Absolutely. I mean, we don't have to pretend that this is not GG. No guard tower anymore. The shredder is dead. That's the last piece of damage. Oh, actually, not dead, but saved. But, you know, there's quite a bit of anti-air here. You can repair a little last reinforcement with militia here. But the demon... Oh, the breath of fires, man. This bigger mana potion is so, so strong. Tries I to told siphon you. Them. Such a sick item. Yeah, well, it's kind of obvious. Level 4! What a quick leveling. And now they're slow on the Archmage. He's gonna die. And that's oh GG. Easy for life. That was like two different... There was two different leagues between these uh, yeah. four players. Like, Infi and Life just way ahead of their opposition. True. Uh, I mean, we saw how close the games of Infi <laughs> and Life are and how well they reacted. It was really a tug of war in two of the three maps, at least. And it went back and forth and back and forth, and one had the idea to open up, like, attack the expansion there to buy some time, and the other responded with another idea. It was really good Warcraft, and now life just so much better. Sick. Yeah. Seems that was like this, to be expected, though. Yeah, this, this uh, group was kind of a foregone conclusion. We all assumed this was going to happen, and maybe not in this dominating fashion, but well, it did, I guess. Yeah. Um, that's it for Seer Cup, and now it's time for Jera Cup. Jera Cup! At every, uh, like, almost every Sunday, we are here for Jera Cup. This needs a little time to set up, so I will show you the two brackets that we had this week in Seer Cup. Today and yesterday was Group B with Sock uh, losing to Infi, winning over Colorful, and losing to Life. Uh, Infi, of course, winning over Life then. And he's in the playoffs as well as Life, who just defeated So Colorful without any chance with uh, the most entertaining games, I would say, together with Infi and Life. So that was Group B. Group A was on Thursday and Friday. We saw this. Oh, well, that is the wrong tournament. That's the right tournament. Focus making it through the winner bracket. Sini having a very cool game against Xiao KK, but against Shimiko, he was absolutely without chances. So the Korean making it all the way through the lower bracket after defeating Shao KK there. There was, like, in general, those four days, not the highest level of Warcraft, but I certainly had fun casting it, uh, as it was a little different from the normal meta games and lots of mistakes which made games, like, fun to watch. And next week, we have the two Europeans starting in this competition. In Group C, that is going to be Thursday, uh, Wednesday and Thursday, no, Thursday and Friday. 
with Hawk versus Foggy and two Koreans in the group there as well with Law Lion and Lucifer. So that is the schedule for Thursday and Friday. On Saturday and Sunday, we have these four fellas. So in Lin, Romantic, WFZ. What a group this is. Again, Lin sees himself in the group of death, I would say. As Soen is kind of an upcoming star. Uh, winning two Holds Cups in a row is definitely a statement. R Romantic is always a force to be reckoned with, especially against Orc and WFC, second best undead in the world who does play such competitions right after 1-2-0. There is another undead, and he will most likely be in the final of Jera Cup that we will <laughs> cast next. It's of course Happy. Who can stop Happy? That is the question that we will answer in the upcoming hours. We will uh, close Netties, go on to W3 Arena, and be, we'll be right back for you here at Back to Warcraft. See you in a bit.